I can't go to the movies. So I just have to stay at home and stream some movies. That's just how the world works now. But there's like a new movie. It got dumped on Netflix. It was going to be in theaters, but it got dumped on the Netflix. And I saw this preview before every movie I saw for like two months. And I was so tired of seeing this this trailer. <laughs> and I was like, well, <laughs> since, since it's free and they aren't making me pay $18 to see a new movie through the streaming service like some movies are doing. <laughs> I already have a Netflix account, so... I was like, I'll check it out. And that, it is the, the Lovey Dovey Birds. Starring names I cannot pronounce. <laughs> but you know, it has that funny fellow from the Big Sick and the Stuber, amongst other things. And a lady, her name is Odd also. But, <laughs> but they are together. As people who are in love. I won't do spoilers because this is a brand new movie. But if you've seen the trailer, they, they go on an adventure because of... <laughs> because of happenstances. They have to try to get themselves out of trouble. So I'm watching this movie and I'm like... You know, this movie... It, it's an alright comedy. <laughs> I <don't... laughs> but, but I just couldn't help but think... Is this guy, this uh, Najil Jamanju, I don't know. He's going to be in a Marvel movie. <laughs> that guy, is he ever... Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, he's usually an Uber driver, or he gets he's driving along and he gets hijacked. His car gets hijacked. So, in, in The Big Sick, he's an Uber driver. In Stuber, he's an Uber driver whose car gets hijacked. And in this movie, he's in a car that gets hijacked at the beginning. <laughs> it's like, how is this going to happen in the Marvel movie? He's got a good run going on. <laughs> ah, but, anyway. <laughs> but I thought the movie, it, it had some laughs. I, I had some genuine chuckles at it. It wasn't uh, uh, embarrassingly bad <laughs> or anything like that. It wasn't even bad. It, I, the most I can say about it is that it's the kind of movie that y you've seen before. You know, there was nothing really special necessarily about it. <laughs> so... <laughs> But it's just these these characters doing the jokes. But I did find some of the, the jokes. The back and forth they would do. They would do a lot of talking over each other. Because they're like a couple and they're arguing sort of thing. And I thought they did a good job at that. <laughs> the, the story and the plot stuff. <laughs> it, it's not... very well uh fleshed out but it doesn't really need to be i guess because it isn't like a spy movie if it was if they're trying to be like a serious spy movie and and the what was going on that they're trying to uncover was this thin then it would be it would be bad but that's not trying to be an actual spy movie so so that's probably fine <laughs> fine and good so I thought he did great. I thought she did great. There's no other real main characters. Everybody else is just uh, there and then they're gone. Some people come in multiple times, but most most of the people in the movie are just in it for a couple scenes and they leave. <laughs> it's all about getting these two to the next set piece for the next fish out of water, you know, sort of thing, story. Like, we're trying to do something. We don't know what we're doing. <laughs> we're trying to uncover this this plot, but we're not professional spies. And it's and not only that, but they don't have 
any mentors, you know. Sometimes when there's a movie like this, there'll be a, they'll have someone who gets drug into the, like in Stuber. <laughs> in that movie, he gets drug into the situation, and he's not a cop, and then he has to act more like a cop as it goes on. But, <laughs> but there he is, like sort of a, a mentor, if you could call Bautista his mentor in that movie. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> I thought she did a really good job. I thought he did a really good job. And since I'm not talking about spoilers, there's not much else I can really say. <laughs> I thought it was decent enough. It wasn't insulting. I didn't feel insulted by it. <laughs> so I thought they did a pretty good job. It's a. Uh, it's kind of weird in this era where things are getting dumped on streaming services and stuff like that. It's like the movie doesn't necessarily have a straight to Netflix vibe. This is that kind of movie that's in a theater every once in a while. But I don't know. Maybe that is the place where these kind of movies need to be now. Gotta leave the theaters to the blockbusters. There, there's no way this movie, a movie like this is going to break even at best. <laughs> and now I don't even know how they could. <laughs> but, because I know they spent a lot on marketing. A lot. <laughs> but anyway. So yeah, love birds. It's a decent thing. Oh, I started watching the movie and Sherry started watching. She's like, I can't watch this movie. I would have I asked, I asked her if she wanted to be in the video because she kind of watched it at the beginning and then she kind of watched it at the end, but she missed like the entire middle part. But she's like, no, I can't have people thinking that I watched an R-rated movie. <laughs> oh yeah, the movie is rated R. It's got the language. It's got blurry, far away nudity. <laughs> but it's mostly just language. So, yeah. But anyway, I love birds, the movie. It was, uh, it was an alright, this kind of comedy. <laughs>